what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about jeepers creepers in this video here again today jeepers creepers 4 a little bit jeepers creepers reborn also mostly jeepers creepers 5 so just to jump right on into it um the thumbnail explains it there apparently is not a script that's ready for jeepers creepers 5 i know a lot of you were sending me that listing on oral studios website where they have a placeholder at this point now that i'll call it for jeepers creepers 5 and that seems like it of course is just something that would depend more so on whether or not jeepers creepers 4 is the success that i guess they hope it is but again going back and considering how this movie is being handled in in the marketing and their their aspirations on how they want to release it theatrically and considering that this franchise hasn't had a very successful box office performance since 2003 i don't know what they are expecting this movie to do especially considering again how they're currently marketing it or the lack thereof so <laughs> this information is coming to me from ben shout out to you ben uh again a crew member reach out to them they like to talk and disclose certain things so i'm, I'm not going to name any specific names but this person who was heavily involved with the film they've seen the film already they are also the person who said that they've already seen a trailer for it so a trailer is ready it exists and they had disclosed in response to being asked about jeepers creepers 5 over on the oral distribution website they stated that of course it depends on how jc4 does but it has not gone into pre-production nor has it been written so there's no script that sean michael argo i believe his name is has come put together for jeepers creepers 5 now what i will say is that doesn't necessarily mean that he doesn't have an outline that he's already been working on and he just probably hasn't turned it into a full-fledged script which would still make that statement from this individual who worked on the movie still true just like how with if you watch my scream 6 videos how people were saying oh there's no there's no script for scream 6 i'm certain that they probably were saying that again because they haven't seen a finalized script I'm, i think a script does exist out there if not there's definitely an outline uh so i, I would say that there's probably some plans that sean michael argo has outlined just in just in case of the success of the fourth film which he has had time to prep for this given how long it's taken for us to wait for this movie to come out uh so the knowing that there apparently is not a script should kind of get some different wheels turning in your head if you go to that oral distribution website and think that this means that oh we're just instantly going to get jeepers creepers 5 if anything this is just again a placeholder on that website the fact that screen media also apparently has a limited time with these rights that they've leased from salva with this ip it's also just probably an indication that no matter what this film makes if it makes at least over a million dollars at best they are going to rush out and crank out another another film they're going to crank out another movie even after that and this would just be their way of at least making what they gave him the money which i imagine is way over i'm gonna predict they had to have given him over two million dollars no doubt had to have given him over two million dollars for this ip so in order for them to make up what they have put out they're gonna try to crank out as many movies as they can as long as this this series proves to be somewhat profitable when it comes to the box office so that way you can at least not look foolish when it comes to leasing rights from someone whose ip is pretty much tainted because of their image in the public when it comes to filmmaking in hollywood etc all that type of stuff so knowing there's no script is gonna again put something in a lot of your guys's heads as it relates to seeing that listing for jeepers creepers 5 as it doesn't really mean anything it also again does not mean that there's not plans that have already been outlined and they're just again waiting for how four performs to then start working on the script because the window that they have with the ip is not something that stretches 10 years from what i can recall uh these rights are just going to revert right back to salvo once this contract that they have with him is up so and again while he's not profiting from the actual movie itself the way he's profiting is by letting them use his ip you he would have to be paid in this instance there's just no way i think he would not take legal action otherwise he's not just unaware that this is happening he's very aware that this is happening and he's been paid for it no doubt so jumping into something else really quick about jeepers creepers reborn 
this idea of the whole D Wallace thing and you know this cult of the creeper how that'll factor into the narrative I've seen this idea brought up what if the characters of Ron and Marie while they're also a reference to I think the real life individuals who were involved with the narrative that inspired the original Jeepers Creepers what if these characters are the parents of Trisha and Derry let's just throw that out there what if they are venturing out into or they go out of their way home from church on on Sunday morning as I believe the plot description was describing and they end up going to the Taggart barn we we actually get to learn that these are Trisha and Derry's parents while they're talking to each other and they just venture out to the Taggart barn to go see about this monster that their daughter kept talking about for all these years that they never really listened to her about and that's caused a riff in the relationship that they have with her and themselves because of them not believing her they just travel out there and you know they get attacked by the creeper they see that he's killed old man tagger that their daughter was actually right and this would be a, a, a clever way to get trisha involved no doubt if you find if we are disclosed that the two characters that are portrayed by uh gary graham and d wallace are actually the the parents of trisha and Derry, and they die in the opening from visiting the taggart barn and we learn about this rift that exists between them and their daughter trisha i think that would be a great way to have trisha motivated to return in a jeepers creepers 5 or jeepers creepers 6 if she doesn't already appear in some fashion in jeepers creepers 4 which if she does that's going to be probably the biggest biggest shock and surprise and probably the biggest thing that's my favorite positive about the movie personally uh depending on how they how they depict it and what gina phillips brings to the table if they even got her back because who's to say they they brought gina phillips back i know a lot of you would be in in an uproar if you have trish back and it's not gina phillips <laughs> the creeper being portrayed by a different different actor that's fine because again i again i can't stress this enough i don't think it's the actor that's the problem with people it's the makeup and it's not the necessarily that you can't have a unique creeper look for him being starved but they don't like the look for the most part so we'll see what it looks like on the finalized screen when we get the finalized product on screen later this year but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video